So one of the things when we're talking about faces and we're starting to look at facial expression is that I like to introduce parts of the face, including the iris of the eye. So that graphing piece is embedded right in a whole look at what faces are like and, and what kind of feelings look like on kids' faces. I invited kids to come over and color in uh, a, just a sketch of an eye that I had made and then add that to a graph. And tell me, what color do you see in the iris of your eyes? What color are your eyes? Right in that mirror and have a look at your own eyes, okay? to have a mirror right there for them to check it out right before they think about what color their own eye is. Um, just adds that dimension of them reflecting on what they look like, what that color is. Because that's one-on-one, -on -one, I could move right from the table where they colored that in to that chart paper right at their level. Here it says, what color is your iris? And you looked in the mirror, you said they're so dark that they And just help them find the right place for their particular eye color. Green or hazel. For some kids whose eyes are lingering a little bit, I might encourage them to do a little more observation. How many people said they have looked at? Six people. That's a lot, eh? And then there are the kids who, the minute they get over there, start pointing and counting. And if they're counting, if their one to one correspondence is off as they count, then we might recount it together. Um, so it's a little bit of discernment for me as a teacher, but it is an opportunity. And when I see a kid who's ready for that opportunity, I may count or ask them questions and we may look at the graph a little further. Let's do it together, you ready? Yeah. It's really important to me that we have a moment as a whole group to look at the graph together. What's the graph showing us? Eyes. Eyes. We talk about what the graph's about. We talk about the fact that everyone has contribute to, contributed to it. It's showing information about the color of people's eyes in this class. We're going to, in a way, analyze each of the columns. Some people colored in an eye brown to show that they have brown eyes. And then we count it. Let's count how many people in our class have brown eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Five people in our class today said, my eyes are brown. I'm going to write a five there. I usually write the number at the top, so it's also an opportunity for a little bit of numeral recognition. So let's see how many people looked in the seven. mirror and said, my eyes are black. Seven. Oh, how did you I know it was seven? Because I know it was seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You were already looking counting? So a graph is a beautiful way into opportunities for counting, and it's a beautiful way to start classifying things into different sections. And because it is so graphic, it uh, is very approachable for young kids.